Another round of positive news on the COVID front as we head into the weekend. The positivity rate is now below 26% and more and more ICU beds are opening up. Currently, there are 124. That is a sign that fewer people are getting seriously ill. State did report more than 1,600 people in the hospitals with COVID, but many of those people were admitted for something else and then they tested positive for COVID once they got to the hospital. With the latest surge starting to wind down, scientists are getting a better understanding of the future of COVID. How will things look when we shift from a pandemic to an endemic? Marissa Armas talked with an expert about that topic tonight. Marissa, a lot of people are certainly curious about life after Omicron. Hey, Karen, well, life after COVID is going to continue, but it's still unclear on how long the virus is going to be with us. But doctors say that if we could learn to live with it, we'll make some progress. It's not over. Two years into the COVID-19 pandemic and the coronavirus has mutated multiple times. But are we near an endemic? Oh, I think we are. We're nearing endemic phase of this virus because it persists. While the virus is still here, infectious disease physician Dr. James Need says getting to the endemic phase has to do with incidents. Are the cases going up? Is there rapid spread? We're learning to live with a virus that may not go away for a long period of time. But to fully get to the endemic phase, we have to have a large population showing signs of immunity. Thanks to vaccination and, um, and prior infection, we're, we're starting to get there as well. Need says getting to an endemic doesn't mean the virus will be completely eradicated. It's when we start to see fewer hospitalizations and deaths. That's when it hits the news less. It's when people start worrying less. Even though that means the virus won't be as severe, Need says it's important to be vigilant because new variants can arise, causing us to take a step back. Assuredly, there'll be another variant. We don't know if it'll be a variant of interest or a variant of concern, meaning how severe is it? And what will the public and then what will the public health recommendations be based on its new version? And Dr. Need says if we if we want to get to that endemic phase, we have to continue getting vaccinated and boosted and, of course, mitigating the spread where we can. In Denver, Marissa Adamas covering Colorado First.